Anyway, come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go on to some more stuff. We talking about The Wire. Want to talk about one of the characters that should have been in there? John Morant? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you? John Morant. John Morant. <laughs> Yo, Yo, listen, we don't have to if y'all don't want to. No, we could. Get we really could, man. John Morant is a is a prime example of a, a te- of, of a teen of a man that's living his teenage identity as a grown man. You mm. know when he's struggling with his identity. Right. His father played with Ray Allen. His mother was a softball player, so we know in the forefront of the house it was sports. Mm-hmm. He's growing up. He's watching people. He wanted to be tough, and now he's messing up the bag. He's a bad example, and he <laughs> we on his ass. He fucked yeah, up. The, he, fucking he's up the fucking up the bag. Up the bag. He's actively fucking so they said that trying to fuck up the bag. So they said he's um and I need some backstory. I mean we just like yeah, we, was it somebody a month asked ago? to say what he did. Yeah. So he punched a 17 year old kid in the just, face and then he said that he was fearful for his life because the kid said he was coming back so allegedly he pulled the gun out on the kid after punching him in the face. The kid left came he had, back. He had a um like a pickup game at his crib. A mm-hmm. couple people was there. Mm-hmm. 17-year-old kid, had some words with him, punched him. The kid said he went in the house and came back and had a gun in his uh, in his shorts, mm-hmm. like in a waistband. Fear for his life. So that's that instance. Then there's a the story comes out about um his mom went to finish line. This was last year sometime. Got into it with one of the workers there, calls her son, mm-hmm. who comes down there with nine other people mm. and a gun. Mm. Yo. Makes a threat like yo, we gonna find out what time he's getting off. Like it's a, wow. it's a, it's, a, it's a, like a thing now. We were just in here not too long ago saying they're gonna make an example out of him one day. What? The- I don't know about you guys, but I'm staying away from all NBA young boys. <laughs> 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 you had that one in the talk too. I just thought of it. I just thought that. I just thought that. Oh my god! Come on, I'm here all week. Uh, I have DVDs for sale as you exit to the left. <laughs> Some of tonight's bits are included. Oh man! <laughs> I love, come on, come on, man. I love corny come shit, on, man. Give it up. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Don't, don't touch me. All right, come on. Did she take mushrooms again? <laughs> And if she did, don't you shame her on women. Don't 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 king shame on either. Don't shame her on either. Don't king shame. Look at Carter. What is, woman, what is the history of women? What? what? Eve? No. It's about <laughs> women's history. Like, um... No. Rosa Parks? Wait. That's a, actually, that is an ex, uh, that is an amazing example. That is an amazing... History. You know there was a lady before Rosa Parks. That I was said, about okay, to hi. say, women's history is drawing attention to certain facts that have not been known or made, you know, known to the general public. Like that there was a woman who was on a bus and refused to give up her seat nine months before Rosa Parks. Exactly. But the NAACP didn't think that she made for a very sympathetic you know, story because she was 15 and she was pregnant. So they kind of squashed that story. And when Rosa Parks did the same thing, that's when they kind of made her like, you know, the face of the civil rights movement. Oh, so you're saying that Rosa Parks was planned? No, I'm not saying that she was. No. Yeah, she was. Keep I'm not real. saying she Keep was. Y'all words. fuckers just said that. And that lady's still alive, too. Like... I tried to interview that lady. That lady's still alive. That 15 year old, she's still alive. Mm-hmm. She's listening. You give her her credit? She's listening. I just did. I okay. just told the whole story. Respect. The fuck? Hey, Back to John Morant. <laughs> yeah. Back, Back to please. John Morant. Please. Okay. Happy Women's History Month. Happy Thank you. Women's Appreciate History. that. A woman okay. had John. Exactly. A woman had all of us. I think, um, <laughs> I think uh, they just, it's hard for them to escape what they learned as being fly. Like Where's he from? South Carolina. Okay. And so just... We glorify the shit every day in the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody do something to you, you whip out, you do this, you do that, you whip their ass. But his dad was a pro basketball player? Teammates. Was he a pro? No, no. no. He He played in college with Ray Allen. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ray Allen was Connecticut. But he was teammates with Ray. I just think um, it's just what they know, yo. It's just what's embedded in these kids nowadays, and it's something that you got to get out of. I think a couple years in the NBA and you see what you have to lose, you'll learn and you'll grow. He just, what, third year, right? Mm-hmm. Fourth year, something like that. I think, I think he'll learn now. Just fourth year. Uh, high school. I see what you're saying now. Yeah, high school. I understand what you're yeah. saying. But, I mean, did he? <laughs> <You> stupid, dog. <laughs> no, sometimes you just got to grow and learn and 
make four hundred million. Pull like, guns out on kids. At, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't get that it. shit is in your, at the in, crib. In your DNA. <laughs> I don't get it, man. So you got to unlearn some things. I understand what you're saying, right? He still keeps uh-uh. the money though, right? <laughs> How you, you fronting though? <laughs> Tell me more. Come you on. dog. Every athlete from the inner city, a lot of them go through the same shit. It's growing pains. Right. Niggas bring I, guns. I couldn't disagree more. It's a lot of them, Joe. I'm not saying all. It's a lot. Dog, again, especially it's just now in the media era and social media era, mm. it's more televised. Barkley and them used to be throwing niggas through windows, bro. Gary Payton, Sam Cassell, they used to be fucking niggas up. And a lot of times your agent would suppress that shit. That's a little different from pulling guns out on um, people. On I'm not disagreeing. Multiple occasions. I'm not disagreeing with you. Allegedly. Allegedly. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying that the athletes are catered to, so they kind of feel like they got these senses of entitlement that they could do whatever the fuck they want to do and it'll go away. This is not new. It's been going on forever. Yeah, can't I, I can't even put that put on these kids today. Red beam on the Pacers as they're trying to leave home. To <laughs> Yo, go home and, after the game. and not for nothing. These kids you know, shouldn't have to unlearn that. Hey, ish. These kids grew up in the social media era, so I can't even give them that same courtesy because every, they they watching everything that happens gets televised, gets sure. broadcast. So it's not a matter of, yo, this could go away because no, everything that my era do is everybody's going to find out. New Joe Biden.